Good morning, team. Happy Tuesday, guys. Coach Dante is here early in the morning. Time for some rise and grind, baby. 6 a.m. Sun is coming up. It's a brand new day. And like I always say, a good day is started by a good decision, guys. You decided to get up. You decided to work. It's going to be a great, wonderful day. Way to get up and make that decision, guys, to dominate your day. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. You guys ready for this? Hope so. You got your gallon jug? That's what we're working, baby. All right, the gallon get up. Up early in the morning to get it going. All right. So we are working a version two of our ECT. All right. One aspect of our E5 Academy training. All right. ECT elements cross training. And our focus today, guys, is going to be coordination and balance. We are doing what's called cerebral training. One of the things that you guys we want to be learning among me from our coaches, guys, so many different aspects of fitness and lifestyle, guys. And when it comes to the fitness aspect of E5 Academy, so many different dynamics in it, right? So you have two ways of training. You have organic training and you have cere cerebral training. Organic training are movements that are just like movements that can be easily done while having a conversation with someone, all right? Say like air squats. So if you're Standing next to someone and you and another person doing air squats, you guys easily know, you know, the subconscious can have the body going up and down. You guys can have a whole other conversation. But then you can have a cerebral exercise, which can be a combination movement that brings in uh, some real focus from the brain, from the cerebral. All right. You're in a position where you turn that part away. Wait, wait, don't say no, I'm trying to concentrate. Like you're trying to do a one leg pistol squat with just your body weight. All right, and you're trying to focus on coming all the way down and maintain that balance and that coordination. And anybody that comes and maybe tap you a little bit, push you a little bit, or yell in your ear, make you scream, you're like getting frustrated because you're really trying to keep the mind engaged. That's what a lot of today's <laughs> movements are going to be. All right. And so, although let's say you may get about a good four or five reps in there because you're concentrating and you're moving slower, that's fine, guys, because when the mind is really engaged, it exerts just the amount of energy and sweat and hard work as it would if you were doing like a heavy deadlift, all right, uh, or a heavy squat. So with that being said, team, let's go into it, all right? Version two, ECT training. Our focus is cerebral. We have a lot of balancing and coordination exercise. We're going with a 45-15. And we're only going to uh, focus on two modalities, guys, which is going to be mobility and strength. And we're going to do two rounds of each one after we warm it up, all right? So, Coach Dante is going to demonstrate all of our movements, of our demonstrations, to get the blood warm with some stretches, all right? And then we'll knock out our first modality, which is mobility. So, exercise one is going to be our half Turkish get up, all right? Thinking about a three count, all right? We're going to hold the gallon jug in one arm, starting with that side, try to get as many quality reps as possible in that 45 seconds. So when I talk about that three count, it's because of the sequence of the movement, all right? So we're going to lay down onto our back. I'm on back here, which I'm using a mat. I'm going to bring this down a little bit so you guys can see me. All right, team, now whichever side you're using, whichever side you're using to hold the gallon up is going to be the same side leg that is upright. Right, so land onto our back. So let's say we're using the right side first. I got my right arm left, got my right knee upward, left arm, left leg is out. Three count, guys. You're going to use your core to come into like a half step to raise it up onto your left elbow. The second movement, two, is going to be pushing up from that elbow to your palm, and three. It's going to be a nice bridge hip thrust. Come up, three. Bring it back down. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right? The, set, the other side, we're doing the second round. Okay? Exercise two. We have our one sided Cossack squat. So that one sided Cossack squat, walk on our feet. 
We're holding our gallon out in between. Do a nice wide stance, all right? And you just want to squat to one side and press that gallon out into the middle, all right? So as you squat down to one side, press that gallon out, put it in the hold, bring it back up. Same leg, all right? You want to squat one leg on one round, squat the other leg on the second round, all right? Exercise three is going to be a one leg deadlift with a front raise. Okay, again, we're doing a lot of coordination and balance to work, a lot of cerebral training today. So we're standing up. Now, this move is going to be called contralateral. Although we're working unilateral, all right, some movements are going to be contralateral where you're working a jump on one side and you're stabilizing or working the other side of the lower body. All right, so in this one here, we're going to be balanced onto our left leg. I want to kind of turn it so you guys can see a little bit better. So we're balanced on our right leg, uh, uh, on our left leg. Our right leg is up because we're holding the jug in the right leg in the right hand, and we're going to get a slight hinge in our hips, slight bend in our left knee. Bring it down, dumbbell almost touches the ground. Press the hip forward, straighten the leg, and front leg. You really have to brace that core, belly button in the spine. Keep that gallon. Exercise four on mobility. We're going to go into an elevated uh, bird dog. That's where we're going to keep the gallon down. Or we can actually bring it into the middle. All right? We're going into a high point position. The gallon jug will be right under our hip, right, right under our groin. And that's where we're going to bring the left elbow into the right knee. And we'll repeat that. All right? Left elbow into right knee on the second round. We're going to go right elbow into left knee. We're coming to that high point. Spread the feet just a little bit. I'm going to brace that core. Left arm. And right leg is out. Bring it in. Try to have a knee at that gallon. All right, you see the balance in that, guys? I'm going to brace that core. All right, a lot of cerebral today. Then, with strength, Two rounds of strength. Exercise one is going to be the one leg glute bridge into a floor press. This one right here is also going to be contralateral as well. All right. If you have the left leg down to the ground as your push going up and your right and your right leg is going up and your right arm is going to be your floor press. All right. We'll get to look like this. Put that down. Left leg is down. Right leg is up, got our gallon and our right hand for that press. You want to drive that heel into the ground, press your hips up, the leg up, press, bring it down and down. One leg bridge up, press, down and down. And repeat. Guys, make sure you're counting your reps on these because on your second round, you want to hit the same amount of reps on the other side that you want to hit on the second round, all right? Exercise two is going to be the static lunge overhead press. So I'll show it on the left side. I've been working a lot on the right side. All right, so you're going to get that left leg, lunge back. First, you're going to get the gallon into a press position. I will brace that core, belly button, and spine. And all of these moves is going to be a lot of core engagement. That's your center of the mass, guys. That's just going to keep you balanced. So, your right leg. We'll be on the front of the left leg. We'll come back. That foot tucked in. Bring that knee down about an inch from the ground, parallel under the hip. I want to brace that core, belly button, and spine, and press. When you're pressing, guys, make sure that arm gets locked parallel on the side of your ear. All right, and exercise three, we're going to two. A one leg dead, uh, one leg deadlift. I'm sorry, one leg. Bent over rough because we're going to stay bent over. So this is also contralateral as well. Let's say for instance, we're starting on our left side for the row. The right leg is going to be the stabilizer. All right? So you have one knee up, your left knee up. Going over to a bent over position, hinge that hip, bring it over, hollow brace that core for your balance, and run.
Again, guys, a lot of balance, a lot of coordination work. Cerebral training in here. Exercise four, the last one, is going to be a straight leg, one arm, overhead sit-up. So we're laying down. I'll do it with the left side again. Laying down straight. All right. Okay, we're just a left arm, right arm, put it down. I will brace that core and inhale. Exhale, bring it up. One arm. You'll work the other arm on the second round. All right, team? I'm going to tell you guys, with cerebral training, because there's a lot of mind engagement, again, although you have to work uh, very slow on many of these movements to keep your balance, to keep your coordination, because your mind is so focused, there's still going to be a lot of exerting of calories, a lot of exertion, some sweat. <laughs> uh, just like being be like those little drips of sweat just coming down because your mind is like, okay, I got to hold still, I got to hold still. That's the good thing about cerebral training, guys. It works the equilibrium. It puts a lot of um, a lot more uh, work and exercises on the uh, cerebellum, guys. It is awesome. I love cerebral training. All right, so let's get into it, team. Our warm up is going to be some uh, static stretches. All right, so we're going to stay on our knees. All right, it's going to be 45 seconds uh, stretch. And it's going to be 15 seconds rest. You guys ready to do it? Good morning, the lovely Coach Ali. I love seeing your name when you pop up. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. Hello. It does something. You have that energy. You're a wild guy. You guys have that energy that just keeps it going. All right, y'all. So in these static stretches, guys, you're going to be like four or five seconds on one side, four or five seconds on the other side. We're just going to switch it back and forth. So this we're going to be on our knees and we want to get a nice shoulder stretch. All right. With one arm across inside of the elbow. All right, team. Here we go. Listen for that three second beat and that countdown. Press it together. Hold it. Count in your head about three, four, maybe five seconds. Wait here. Want to keep it back and forth for 45 seconds. Make sure you put that arm inside that elbow. Nice stretch in there. Thing. All right, we want to stay on our knees. We want to untuck our feet. We want to sit it down. Actually, we want to stay across the other. We want to put arms over here. Grab it. One, one hand grabbing the wrist. The other wrist and pull it over to the side. It feels good, nice and tight. Hold it about four or five seconds and switch. Switch it back and forth for the 45 seconds. Hula. Hula. And we got to get a nice steady stretch. You don't need to rush it. About four or five seconds. Nice. All right, guys, now we're going to stand up on our feet. We're going to lunge forward, going to some deep lunges, guys. Hold it about five seconds. Get it up far enough to where the back knee is behind that hip. Come down, lean forward. Now we do four or five seconds. Bring it up, switch. Get that back knee back. Nice stretch, that hip flexor. And then that loop and forward. Get 
Remember that we're core engagement. Everybody is fine. That helps to make sure that the string of mass is centered. Guys, all right, this last one we're just going to do step jacks. Let's get everything loosened up. We're going to go dynamic now. Let's step. You can see my arms. I'm bringing them all the way back out. All the way down. Cross them. Under each other, all the way over here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One thing about me, I love all kind of music. I don't think there's a genre of music I don't like. All right, team. You guys ready to get it? Like Cole Drop say, wakey, wakey right about now. Hope you guys are up. Y'all get up, baby. Rise and grind. All right, here we go. Two rounds of <coughs> our mobility. Remember, this is cerebral training, guys. We're focusing on coordination and balance. We have our half Turkish get up. We have our one-sided coset. We have our one-leg deadlift with the front raise. And then we're going into the elevated bird dogs. Core engagement, mental mind engagement, guys. Again, we're helping strengthen the equilibrium. A lot of activating of the cerebellum, guys. All right, that frontal lobe is going to have to be very, very engaged in this. So, make sure that the kids are still asleep, that they don't come rushing in and throw you off balance, guys. Now, your center of mass, your core. It's one thing about having a strong core, good looking abs, all right? If you want good looking abs, all you have to do is just lose body fat. But we want to focus on the center of mass because that really helps us with our balance, guys. Belly, butt, enter spine, a lot of glute engagement. That's going to help you stay centered, guys. All right. Now, I don't care if you only get about four good reps in the 45 seconds. That's fine. If you have to move slow, that's good. That lets me know that your mind is engaged. All right, team? So there we go. Grab that gallon. Land on the floor. And start with your most uncoordinated, most imbalanced side first on your first round. All right? Always start with the weak side and most unbalanced, uncoordinated side first. So for me, mine is my left. So I'm starting on my left side. All right, team. Let's get ready. Going to hit that three-second beat when the countdown. Three count. On here. Here we go. One. Elbow. Two. Palm. Three. Two breaks. Two it up. Put me back down. One. Elbow. Two, on the palm. Three, five that heel, put the hip up, squeeze that glute. Bring it down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go, team. 
Now that heel hard into the ground, press that hip up, open up that hip, breathe that glute, use that core to bring you up, keep that gallon over the hand. Nice, team. All right. On our feet, exercise two, we're going into our one side Cossack. We're going into a Cossack squat, but we're only working one side. Get that gallon in front as you squat. Left side, press that gallon out. Bring back up on that same leg. Bring that gallon back in. Put the feet from the side. Give me that I'm pressing that gallon out. Bring it back in. Come up. Working that weak side first. Your most imbalanced side. Again, team, if you have to move slow, move slow. That just lets me know that your mind is engaged, getting focused. Focus on keeping that balance. And on this exercise, you're going to not stretch your range of motion. Awesome, team. All right. Stand on your feet. We're going to two. That one leg deadlift, front raise. So I'm starting with, now let's turn on my right leg. My left leg is up. I want to come into that. Then lift, y'all let's touch the ground, bring it up, break that core, front brain. Just fly bending that knee when you come up, press it forward, belly button to the fire, guys. Just put your other arm out to the side, it helps kind of even out that balance if you need to. Oh, God, amazing, amazing. I know I'm singing, guys. Because the more you practice, guys, the more what cerebral becomes organic. And as you know, you can sing with it or whatnot. But then that's a sign that you know it's time to get a little bit more challenging, all right? All right, now we got our elevated bird doll. Let's kick this gallon under our high plank. Left elbow to right knee. Let's go. Keep that other arm turn around your shoulder. Break that core. Down. Inhale. When it's extended, and still bring it in. Woo! Woo! Oh! I need to move this back. It's going to be flipped. Make me slip too. All right, team. Round two. Working the other side. Maybe a little bit, e a little bit easier now. Now you're working your dominant side, which mine is my right. Half Turkish. Let's go. Count it. One. Elbow. Two. Palm. Three. Get press. Get back right down. Music. Yeah. Ah. Use that core now to bring it up. I have time. Use that glue that you come up. Ah. Awesome work. All right. Still working that dominant side, guys. We got our one sided co sack. So now I'm going on my right leg. <coughs> That's why I stand. Trust the size you guys can see. And squat it. Press it up. In my body. <sighs> Keeping your heels on the ground at all times. No heels. Belly button on the spine, one step forward. Ah. 
where I go. Uh, I, woo, I see him working the other side. I got one leg deadlift. It's the front raise. Now I'm on my left leg, working my right arm. Right leg stays off the ground, turn this way. I don't break that core. The other arm can be out. Work the leg that down if you need to. Oh yeah, this is a great hit up. Mm -hmm. Sorry, on my, on my left leg first. I'm on 13. Keep that belly button in the spine. Keep that center of mass activated, guys. Belly button in the spine. Nice tight loose. All right, last one. Elevated bird dog. Now we're going right elbow to left knee. Put that high plank. Plank your feet if you need to. Maintain that balance. Ah, coach is struggling. There we go. Elbow to knee. Contralateral. Right elbow, left knee. Ah. Woo. Come on. Yeah. See. Rest it out, guys. Still talking about cerebral training. I forgot my son was coming in from work. It kind of threw me off. Move in. All right, team. Let's take about 40, 45 seconds rest it out. We got good old strength to work. Two rounds. Still working. Unilateral. Some of these contralateral movements still focus on um, coordination and balance with our cerebral training with the gallon jug. Now we have our one leg glute bridge with floor press, one arm floor press. Our static lunge with the one arm over here press. Then we have our one leg bent over row and exercise four. Our straight leg one arm sit up. This stuff is good, guys. Just two rounds of that mobility. I was feeling it because I had to keep my mind engaged. Awesome. 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 I like to move it, move it. Move it, move it. Move it. All right, guys. Ready to work? Let's do it. Third one in that bridge position. One leg is up. All right, the leg that's up is going to be the same side. Arm that's going to be your floor press. So if you're starting with the right arm, pressing with the right arm, your left leg is on the ground. As your drive for your hip thrust. All right, team. I like them. I like them. Looking for that three beat countdown. Bridge. Press. Bridge. Press. Bridge, press. One leg, bridge, keep it up, press. Elbow onto the ground. The bridge, squeeze that glute, press. Elbow back down to the ground. You gotta repeat. Drive that heel, squeeze that butt, press. And press it. Woo! 
Go inside that group and get the burn. All right, team, here we go. Daddy lunge, overhand press. I'm going to start it with my left arm. So I got the left leg going back. Belly button in the spine. Hold that lunge and press. That knee parallel under your hip, your front leg, knee parallel over your ankle. Inhale, exhale. Keep that core engaged. Just a little shaky. Slow it down. Maintain that balance. Bounce your reps. There we go. Nice, team. Woo. Goodness gracious. All right. Now we're going over to that bent over row. We're going to balance on my right leg and row with my left arm. Over here. Get your other arm out to the side. We're going to leverage that balance if we need to. Get that head and chin down. Get our elbow past that lat. The the Bring that chin down. Oh, dude. The burn on this glute. Oh. Woo. Wee. All right, team. That one arm straight leg to that. Start with my left arm. Press it over here. <laughs> Yeah. Get that arm pillow inside of your ears when you come up. Try to keep that heel touching the Round two. Now working your dominant side. All right, we got the one leg, two bridge, four press. I have to start my left. I did it with my right. Right. <laughs> I can hear us in the ground for a second here for a speed that glute. And press. Head down and turn it up. Come on, team. Press. Nice work. Ooh. All right, team. Got your other side of your static lunge. Overhead press. Now I'm going right. Right leg's going back. Concentrate. Really better just try. Keep that balance. Keep it straight ahead so neck and spine is neutral. Really better in the spine. Nice. Oh, goodness. 
All right, the other side of that. One leg, bent over row. Now I'm bouncing on my left leg, roll with my right arm. Contralateral. Here we go. Break my core. Bring it into the floor. Pull it tight down. And make the spine is neutral. Try to get that elbow past your lat. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, it's left glue. It's burning. Ah, oh. oh my goodness. All right, team, this is it. Working the other side. One arm straight legs to that. Keep those heels on the ground. There we go. Count those reps. Dangle them out to the other side and finish strong, team. This is it. Last 45. Ah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Almost there. Woo! Nice, team. Way to get through it. Way to rise and grind. Way to get up and work that gallon jug. Awesome, guys. Let's shake it off. Rest it out. We got some nice cool down stretches we're going to. Don't go anywhere, guys. <sighs> now, you see what happens when you put your body in position where you really, really have to keep the mind engaged? So just think of the intensity and the focus of someone that, work, that walks a tightrope. You guys have been to with those uh, circuit de soleil, I think that's it, right? Uh, performances and they're working those tight ropes or they're walking those spinning wheels. Man, that's a lot of core engagement. That's a lot of cerebral training. Oh man, way more intense than this, guys. And we're so amazed when we look at like, look at that. I'm not saying that we'll ever get there, but guys, when you think about the daily functioning of our lifestyle, all of our movements from the way we carry the grocery bags into the house, especially mine, walking upstairs, all the way to trying to reach to bend something over, guys. These exercises help you to keep the sequence of our joints and the anatomy of our muscles, how they work together to keep us balanced and to make sure that we're moving efficiently. Believe me, you'll see that how these movements like this really integrate and make the way we move every day a lot much better. All right? So awesome job today, guys. All right, here we go. To our cool down. We'll start with uh, upward dog. So everyone laying down prone on your stomach. to the side of your chest, feet are untucked, and just raise your upper body, squeeze those heels, head up, chest forward, feeling your thighs, Stretch on your hip flexors, the front of your rib cage, and a nice stretch in your ankles as well, because you're in the extension. And 
Now we're going to go into a child pose, guys. You go feet on the test. Get the root, get back towards the heel. And relax, we're going to bring one arm stretched under our child pose. So bring it the left arm. Stretch it under and across the right. Back into your child pose. Relax it. With your thighs. Right arm. Stretch under and across. Alright, onto our knees, get our left leg upright. So, lunge position by stretching out a little bit further so our back knee can get behind our hip. And we'll lean forward, right hip stretch on that left glute, and that right hip flexes. Now, we get a nice good stretch on our left hamstring. First and four, bring it back. On that right quad. Relax the team. Bring that knee back. Now we're going with the right leg. Okay. Step down forward. Bring it forward to your lunge and back knee behind your hips. Now stretching the right glute. And the left hip flexor. Keeping your feet right where they are, push back with the right foot, straighten it out to get that stretch from right hamstring and your left quad. Off the knee, bring your knee down, hands down, touching your feet, going to a downward dog, arms put on the front of the ears. Off the ground, I'll come up into your fingertips. Do that stretch from lower back, hamstring, calf, all the way up the back. And slowly you get your inch burn. Off the knees, you can hang down, chin, chin, tuck in. Roll your back up slowly. Bring your legs, brushing it forward. Get your chin down. Up. Nice. And then wrap around arms over here. Interlock your fingers, turn them upwards, and stretch your neck onto your toe. Ah. Awesome job, team. So glad you guys made the decision and determination to wake up and check in with Coach Dante today with the gallon get up. Now that you got those endorphins going, got the serotonin and dopamine just running, now it's time to get to those tasks, guys. Time to get to that routine that you have set for the day and make conscious decisions to knock them out. To knock them out with a focus on appreciation, with a focus on gratitude, guys, and savoring every moment of your day, every five seconds. I like to see five seconds as a time measurement of our nap. When you think about now, it's the zero to five seconds, the time capacity of your consciousness, the time capacity of your frontal lobe to where we can attack any kind of uh, uh, habitual behavior in our subconscious that doesn't serve our purpose, that doesn't serve our livelihood, that doesn't allow us to love. And in those present moments, guys, we can overcome any kind of doubt, overcome any kind of fear, overcome any kind of hesitation, and just live a life full of dominance and enjoy it, guys. It's not something that you have to work and just, just walk around and just be anxious and overthink, guys, but relax and do it. Know that you're loved and by yourself first. Know that you have a purpose. 
that you were meant to enjoy life. All right. Now, this now, after our fresh in, we need to focus on that post workout, guys. Get that nutrition in. Get those lovely, good nutrients into your body to help you to be coherent, to help out with that focus of your thinking, and to give your body that nourishment it needs to function throughout the day. All right, you guys, enjoy your Tuesday. Coach Dante, love you all very much. Got some reopenings getting ready to happen, guys. Hope you all are looking forward to it. You guys enjoy the rest of the day. Peace.